Nickelodeon Paw Patrol Howl for Halloween. Based on the teleplay The Pups and the Ghost Pirate by Ursula Ziegler Sullivan, illustrated by Nate Lovett. It was Halloween at the lookout, and the Paw Patrol was excitedly preparing for the big night. Dressing up in costume is my favorite part of Halloween, said Princess Sky. My favorite part is trick or treating, said Pirate Zuma. Arr! But there was one thing they agreed on. They were both looking forward to Captain Turbot's ghost ship party. They say the ship is haunted, said Sky. It sounds super scary. Aw, that's only scary if you believe in ghosts, Zuma replied. Suddenly, they heard a spooky wailing sound, and a ghost fluttered down next to Zuma. The pirate pup yelped and jumped into the air. That's not a real ghost, Sky said with a giggle. That's just Chase, hanging a decoration. Told you there's no such thing as ghosts, Zuma said, though he was shaking. Outside. Outside the lookout, Rocky, Marshall, and Rubble has found a huge pumpkin to carve. Rocky cut the top with his super jack-o'-lantern scooper, and Marshall tried to pull it off. He tugged and tugged until it popped off the pumpkin and landed on Rubble's head. This goo in my do makes my blue, said Rubble with a chuckle. Meanwhile, Captain Turbot welcomed his first guests to the old pirate ship. Mayor Goodway and Chicoletta, Katie and Callie and Mr. Porter and his grandson Alex all wore wonderful costumes. Mr. Porter had brought delicious Halloween cookies and everyone told Captain Turbot they liked the spooky way he had decorated the boat. Thank you, he said, just trying to be the host with the most ghosts. Legend has it that this pirate vessel once sailed in the waters of Adventure Bay with a ghost crew. Mwa ha 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 ha. Alex was a little scared. He tugged at his grandpa's sleeve. Is the ship really haunted? He asked. No, said Mr. Porter. It's fun to play at being scared sometimes. There's no such thing as ghosts. But if there were no ghosts on board, Mr. Porter wondered who had eaten all his Halloween cookies. And Katie wondered what was making that spooky moaning sound. Later, while Callie was chasing a pesky seagull around the ship, she accidentally pulled on a rope that raised the sail. Mayor Goodway was spooked. Why is that sail going up on its own? she asked. Then the ship started to move. As the boat sailed away, the gangplank collapsed and Captain Turba fell into the water. The pirate ship was headed out to sea with no one at the helm. I seem to have misplaced my glasses in the ocean, Captain Turbot said, rushing to climb back on board, but without his glasses he couldn't steer the boat. This was a job for the Paw Patrol. Mr. Porter called for help, and Ryder assembled the team. Strange things are happening at Captain Turbot's Halloween party, he said. Zuma, I need you and your hovercraft to catch up with the runaway ship. Let's dive in, barked the pirate pup. Sky, I need you and your helicopter to help slow down the ship, Ryder added. And Marshall, I need you to ride in Sky's harness to help lower the sails team was ready for a rough, rough rescue. Ryder and Zuma raced across the water as Sky zoomed through the air, carrying Marshall. When they reached the pirate ship, Sky slowed down and Marshall swung into the crow's, crow's nest. Everyone cheered when Marshall lowered the sails. At the same time, Ryder and Zuma raced alongside the ship. Ryder climbed out of his ADV and onto a later, ladder. But when Zuma jumped, he missed and splashed into the sea. Luckily, he had propellers on his pop pack. He turned them on and shot out of the water right into Ryder's arms. 
The pirate ship was rocking and turning through the waves as if someone was sailing it. A ghost must be doing it, said Alex. That is so cool. Alex might have thought being on a ghost ship was cool, but Ryder wasn't convinced. There's got to be a simple explanation for all this, he said. Let's check out the steering wheel. But Zuma and Marshall didn't budge. Oh, said Zuma, looking around for ghosts. You meant us too? When Ryder, Zuma, and Marshall went to investigate, they made a surprising discovery. Chicoletta was perched on the wheel, turning it back and forth. There's your Halloween ghost, Ryder said, laughing. Zuma and Marshall sighed with relief. But as Ryder was taking Chicoletta back to Mayor Goodway, a spooky moan came from behind some old barrels. Everyone was scared, but Ryder boldly walked toward the kegs. Marshall and Zuma tried to stop him. Ryder, don't, they pleaded. Ryder looked into the shadows and found... Wally the walrus napping behind the barrels. Wally, snores were echoing back here, which made the spooky sound, Ryder said. When Mr. Porter looked, he saw cookie crumbs on the deck, and it was Wally who ate all the cookies. Just then, Callie ran by, chasing the seagull. Once again, she accidentally raised the sail, but this time the others saw it happen. Chicoletta was our secret captain. Wally the walrus made the ghostly sounds, and... Callie raised the sails, Ryder said. He had solved all the mysteries. He even helped Captain Turbot find his glasses in his pocket. Once they all got to dry land, they moved the party to the lookout. There were games and treats for everyone, and best of all, the fun was ghost-free. Then Rocky looked up and saw something amazing. A glowing pirate ship seemed to be floating across the full moon. I'm sure there's a simple explanation. I just don't know what it is, said Ryder. Happy Halloween, everyone! So that was the end of our story that was called Howl for Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks again for watching. Bye!